Loyalty pricing is, is an interesting question because not all industries actually offer loyalty pricing. For example is if you have a franchise, you may not be able to provide any loyalty pricing to your customers because your pricing is dictated by the, the franchise itself. But if you're not, you have to think about this, is loyalty pricing is discounting. You're discounting because you want a repeat customer the customer to stay with you. And you have to think of that as, what does it cost me to acquire a customer? That's the key, that's the key part of the whole thing. If it costs me zero to acquire a customer, then is loyalty pricing even important, right? Because, but if it costs me something to acquire the customer, then is loyalty pricing important to my strategy to retain that customer. And so you have to look at that, is what is the cost in your cost of goods sold, your goods or services, and part of that should have your sales and marketing in there. And part of that is your customer acquisition. So now what you're doing is, if the customer is willing to come back to you again, if you give them, for example, 10% off, or a free sub after they buy 10, right? So, so the 11th one is free or the, or the 10th one is free. They buy nine subs, they get the 10th one free. Is that you've now saved money by giving them that 10th sub free because the cost of goods sold is less than your cost of acquisition, you know, on top of your cost of goods sold. So this is where you really have to think about what discounting I'm going to provide and this pricing is all based on what is your cost of acquisition.